Hi, I'm Josh Jordan. I'm a grad student at uh, the University of California, Irvine. I study uh, non-Kahler Hermitian geometry. Specifically, I've been focusing on pluriclosed flow. I'm going to be talking to you about non-Kahler Calabia geometry and its relation to pluriclosed flow. What I'll be presenting, um, it's on the archive right now, and uh, we're trying to get it published. Um, when I say we, I mean uh, Jeff Streets, my advisor. He's also here at University of California, Irvine. Uh, myself and Mario Garcia Fernandez, who's at the Autonomous University of Madrid. Okay. Um, so I kind of throw, throw around some, some buzzwords in the title, but what exactly am I going to be talking about? Well, I'm planning on breaking this down, this talk down into two pieces. The first piece I think is mostly going to be, um, some background, kind of introducing some technology. The second part, hopefully I could spend more time on, uh, the, the new stuff coming out of this paper, right? Um, so the first thing I'm planning on talking about is some background on non-Kahler Hermitian geometry, right? A lot of people, when they take a class on complex geometry, they'll, they'll cover Kahler and that's about it, right? Um, but the non-Kahler world is pretty rich. So, uh, I'm planning on trying to at least mention a lot of results here, uh, just because there's so many, um, the next thing that I'm hoping to cover in that first video is kind of introducing, they're called holomorphic current algebras. Their study is uh, relatively new. Um, they, they came out of uh, Nigel Hitchens and uh, some string theory adjacent work, but they've been really applicable in the setting of pluriclosed metrics they have like some really deep ties and I want to talk about those a little bit and then mention how uh, this technology of holomorphic current algebroids helped us to uh, elaborate on a result that Bismuth mentions kind of in passing in a paper of his. Uh, he says that like a churn curvature quantity of a certain bundle is related to a bismuth curvature quantity on a manifold. You can prove really clearly what he means with the language of holomorphic current algebraids. So then the second talk, right, more of our new work. Um, the first thing I wanna do is discuss uh, they're called, we call them bismuth Hermitian Einstein metrics. Okay. A lot of people are familiar with Einstein metrics. Transport that into the Kähler setting and you get a Hermitian Einstein metric. In the non Kähler setting, right? You're not using the Levy Chavita connection. The natural one is the bismuth connection. So you have bismuth Hermitian Einstein metrics. Free name. Um, basically, we can lift some work of Donaldson and almost immediately apply it to uh, it, some work of Donaldson on Hermitian Einstein metrics. We can pretty much lift it and almost immediately apply it to uh, bismuth Hermitian Einstein metrics to get obstructions, which are like really elegant, working in all, all dimensions um, on all kinds of pluriclosed manifolds. And then from there, I'm hoping to use the kind of our other main result. Um, we use the classification of low dimensional bismuth flat manifolds and simplifications that these give to the uh, evolution equations um, for, for different quantities evolving under pluriclosed flow to conclude global existence and convergence results on bismuth flat manifolds. Okay, it's kind of the heart. Um, we can then use some similar techniques to get existence on any manifold of non-negative Kodaira dimension and a classification of generalized Kähler structures on, on bismuth flat spaces as well. Thanks and uh, 
thanks to hudru for organizing this and i'm excited to get to talk to you guys more.